Hello, this is Silly White Goddess. I haven't mentioned anything much really about me, and I just like to do that this time. And uh, I'm going to uh, give you some facts about me and who I am and so on. I am a Scorpio. So uh, next month. I will have my birthday. Yay! Or whatever. <laughs> and I'm living in Sweden, of course. And I have uh, Finnish roots. So uh, my parents come from Finland. And I have uh, been living in Sweden all my life. Because I'm also born here, so uh, I started first class in uh, a Finnish school here in Sweden, and uh, I went there on my three first years, and then fourth to sixth grade I was on Finnish school. Which really sure. In the Swedish school, there was, of course, Swedish children also, but it was like Finnish was over here and the Swedish was over here. And uh, when we have a break or lunch or something, the other kids have school. Uh, sometimes we have the break the same time but we were always here and they were always there so we never actually played around so much with the Swedish kids so um, it was hard I believe uh, to be in school and uh, not to know Swedish so well if this is my point of view and my memories of it and uh, I'm only telling these things because I think it can be interesting to someone maybe. Anyway, uh, the 7th and 8th and 9th grade I also was in a Swedish school and uh, I was, yeah. I have always been in Swedish school uh, since I graduate and um, get my exam. So um, I don't, um, uh, I don't regret being in a Finnish school and class in three years. It was wonderful. I had to struggle more, I think, because. It was hard to learn Swedish, but English it was very easy to me to learn it and to talk it, and uh, it comes natural to me that I have to think little before I talk, or I think it sounds very funny, but I do, <laughs> I really do that. I sound funny, I must do that. Uh, sorry for that, uh, I'm trying my best. Uh, I don't have um, good uh, uh, self-confidence. I mean, I have never had that. I have been shy, shy, and uh, it's haunting me still. It's hard to think that I am good and doing something good. But I hope that someone out there thinks, "Yay, she is doing videos again, and she's fantastic." and uh, Fabulous, wow, she's doing great. I'm doing my best, and you'll always sweet thing. <laughs> I'm boring. It's good, it's good that he likes to relax to my voice, and uh, it's good. Anyway, uh, I have always been shy, I have always been tiny. A little girl, shy little girl. So, uh, um, 
I have always been small and tiny and cute. So uh, I hope that I'm not that anymore. Uh, tiny, I'm not. Uh, high curves. I am not the thinnest one. Um, but I'm working on it. It takes time. I have uh, some illnesses. I have lived with uh, almost my whole life. And there's nothing I can do about them, of course. And uh, allergies I have. So many allergies to different things as food to uh, flowers, to grass, to animals, and so on. But as you can see, I have cats, and I have birds, and I have lizards, and a dog. So, um, who says that you have to live with allergies and be afraid? And who, have, who has decided that you're never gonna live with animals? I do that and I'm healthy. So, the doctors doesn't always have the right answers. So, if I had listened to the doctors, I have, uh, I should die. I should have died, died because um, animals is a part of me and I cannot live without my pets. No way, I cannot do that. Uh, I have had asthma in um, 10 years now. So, um, I don't know if I have had it before we uh, find out that I have asthma. And uh, asthma, of course, it's making me sicker. And, um, yeah, it's hard. Uh, the medicines are making me bigger. And I think. I remember when I was teen, and uh, I felt it good. I have struggled in uh, uh, making me better from anorexia, tartarexia, and it was a hard struggle, but I managed to do that and on my own. Not many didn't know about it, and it was my big secret. That I have total control over food and what I ate or didn't eat and what I did for make it disappear or something like it. Uh, I like to pull weight and exercise a lot. I thought that I must be perfect and uh, that was on um, uh, scary illusion I had. It was all because all the super mothers who are extra thin and big tits. Yeah, big tits. It was very popular. Uh, now I have tits. <laughs> it's my own. Uh, back then I was very thin. I had the tits back then too. But yeah, it's not easy. It's not easy to be thin have anorexia, autotrexia, or it's not easy to be bigger and have the boobs, you know. Um, but I have it, and it's my body, I have curves, and I cannot hide them. So, um, it's very, um, it's very, it's very hard to be me, because People always have thoughts and they decide who I am until they know me. It's not easy to uh, talk about me and who I am and why I am like this. But everyone has their way and I have gone through so many things and I know things. And I like to share them and talk about them. 
I don't feel ashamed talking about them. It's a part of me and they have uh, made me come this far. Good and bad memories I have and uh, they are really things that I must still work with and I'm doing that. And I hope that when I'm working and healing my wounds in my life path, uh, I think that I can help others on the way. Somebody thinks that you cannot help if you are healing and so on, but that's bullshit. Uh, you can help others and I'm doing that and that's a fact if you don't like it. So, hey, you can go the other way. Uh, it's like that. Uh, I have been through so many things and I have already told you that I could be a 90 year old lady. Easily, I could be uh, this old because I have seen, I have heard, I have been through so many hard, bad things, good things, and uh, I have grown. But it has been a struggle and not easy. Every step has been hard. It has taken so much from me and I'm still working with things. Uh, I'm not so shy maybe anymore, but it's hard for me even to sit here and uh, talk here and believe that I'm good enough. But that's something I'm writing in my blog. But you are good enough and you are enough. I'm not talking about it here too because it's important to feel that you are enough and you are enough. That's enough. I mean that you look like you look and it's you and you are enough. You don't need to be Tim, perfect, normal, what's normal anyway. And uh, you don't need to be good in speaking English. I mean here yeah, I am. I'm talking wrong all the time. The words are coming out so wrong and I'm looking full of myself and maybe someone in my family even, my friends even, can be ashamed of what I do. But I think that many accept that I'm doing this and think that it's funny to see my uh, making fool of myself. And would you enjoy it? I don't give a shit really. And I just want to talk about things. But it, that's important, and uh, I need to be heard, and uh, I need to show myself. And here I am. Yes, I'm a witch, I'm a goddess, I'm a life worker. I believe that I am that. I'm an angel. I'm so much, I cannot only make one video who I am, and what I do, and why I'm here. But I'm here now, and I don't know how long. This will last. I have doubts that I'm not gonna do this anymore, and uh, <clears throat> time will tell. I have only started this, and I don't know how long I will do this, and uh, I guess I will do this as long as it takes, and uh, as long as I don't have nothing to talk about and. Uh, share about. I will uh, do more clips of myself and more facts about me, but this was only why I look so shy, maybe. Why I can blush easily. I always feel, I, I, I have always feel ashamed about me and get red cheeks because I get blushed because people and have boo me and so on. People are boo me because of how I look and they still do. Yeah, of course it hurts, but I choose not to care and uh, don't make a bigger wound about it. Because I have wounds still that it's healing, I think. If someone does you ill, 
it takes time to heal that wound and um, uh, when you have healed you feel that you are complete and that you are not need any time more to heal and uh, I still feel that I have some in my uh, baggage to take care of scars and need to heal them and so on so it's important to talk about bullying and uh, why people have made me like this uh, I hope that someday I will not be shy and I will be proud of me and uh, completely I feel that I'm on my way and uh, some people think that oh you are wearing so different clothes and you are make your makeup is different and you jewelry and you have tattoos and so on and so on and why do I need to wear a costume and a little skirt and why do I need to have jeans and uh, stuff like that? Why do I need to um, wear hair extensions or fake nails to be accepted or false lashes or uh, so on? This is me and uh, why can I not be enough? I think. I think that I am enough. I don't need to change. It's the world who sees me as strange for me to uh, be ashamed and uh, try to accept others as they are. Because I am like you, a fantastic human being and I have my illness and yay, I'm here, I'm talking. That's brave, that's bravery. And uh, yeah, to all who has been shy girls or shy boys out there have been pulled because you are too fat or too thin or have big boobs or strange nose or strange teeth um, if you are talking funny or anything go out there and be proud of you because no one is like you and you are special and you are enough you don't need to change you are enough that's good enough you are enough that's good it's good to be enough and good to be the one you are because you're one in a million and you are special. So, this was a little about me and my shyness and why I blush and so on. And I'm going to cook this now and talk more later. All my strength and love to you and be strong and proud because. I say so. Bye bye. That's it.